Hey everyone! So I have a pretty big e.l.f. haul here. Recently, e.l.f. had 50% off the whole website, and then if you spent $35 or more, you had free shipping as well. So I kind of went a little crazy. Imagine 70 something dollars worth of products from e.l.f. So that is a lot of stuff. So um, let's get right to it, and I'll try and show you some swatches as well. Okay, so why don't I start with what I actually have on my face today. So the first thing here is the HD Mattifying Cream Foundation, and this is in the color porcelain. I find that e.l.f. products tend to lean on the darker shade, so this is the lightest shade. I think it was a little too light for me, but I would prefer that over a darker color. The next thing I picked up was the High Definition Powder, and this is in Sheer. It's supposed to help with fine lines and wrinkles, but what I really like it for is to take away the shine and oiliness in your face when you're taking pictures or you're on video, and I can already tell the difference in quality so this was really a good purchase I believe it was about six dollars and that was on the higher side of all of the elf products I chose so really nice I also got an under eye concealer and highlighter this one is in light and glow I really liked the concealer I didn't get to try the highlighter yet but if you want me to do a review on that just let me know and to set the concealer I got the high definition under eye setting powder this is also supposed to help camouflage fine lines and dark circles I found this to be a very good um, pair with the concealer and the um, setting powder. The concealer seemed to be a little oily and had a lot of shine to it. This definitely helped to take away the shine and I really liked them both together. I also picked up two cream eyeshadows. The first one here is a natural glow. It has a really nice bronze tint to it. I use these mainly for bases, but these definitely can be used as an all over eyeshadow. The next one I picked up is in the color Dawn, and that's what I'm wearing today. I do have it all over. They do include a little brush with this, but I found it was easier to just use my fingers. The brush would probably be good if you wanted to use something for a liner. And then what I have on my eyebrows is the Eyebrow Treat and Tame. This is in the color medium. So on one side is a clear treat, and then on the other is a tinted mascara. It's supposed to help just tame your eyebrows. I've been trying not to over pluck or get them waxed as often as I used to, so this has really helped keep them in line. And then for my lips, I got the Lip Primer and Plumper. So on one side is the primer, on the other is the plumper. So the primer is in natural and the plumper is in clear. So my first impression was actually pretty good. It is similar to just putting foundation or concealer on your lips, but a little creamier. I did find it um, filled in some of my lines as well, which I really enjoy. The lipstick that I have on now is the Moisturizing Lipstick. This is in the color Cheeky. I am really surprised by this lipstick actually. I thought it was going to be a little more like a gloss because it's moisturizing, um, but I found that if you layered it a few different times, it actually stays on and looks pretty matte to me. So I'm very happy with this. I'm actually really happy that I um, like that moisturizing lipsticks because I got four in total. The next one I got is in Rosy Go Round. This is a really nice deep pink color. So here's a little swatch. It goes on really nice and creamy just like the other. Very the bright. The next one is called Coral Cutie. I don't have any colors like this so I'm really excited. It's like a deep peach color. So let's swatch this one as well. Ooh, this one feels even more creamier than the last. Very Next nice. This one is called Pink Minx. It definitely looks like it has more of a natural pink color to it. Very pretty. It also looks like there might be some shimmer in there. So let's see. Yeah, very nice as well. Okay, so sticking with lipsticks, I only got one mineral lipstick. I probably would have gotten all of the ones that they had, but this was the only one they had left. And this is in the color natural, very pretty. Two more lipsticks, so a total of eight lipsticks altogether. The first one here is in classy, 
And then the last one is Captivating, both just so pretty. I also picked up two jumbo eyeshadow sticks. Like I said, I've been really into creamy shadows lately, and this is new from e.l.f. They're the creamy and pigment rich eye color, so I can't wait to try these. The first one here is in Little Miss Thing, and then the next one is French Lace. This one does seem similar, but it is a lot lighter than the other. Very nice. I also picked up some oil blotting papers. I haven't tried these from e.l.f. before, and they are, I believe, a dollar. So, and it comes with 50 sheets. So, I can't wait to try this out and see if they're going to work for me. I do get very oily, and at work, it's really nice to have these around so I'm not wiping all of my makeup off throughout the day. So, and the last thing I picked up is the e.l.f. Studio Beauty Book with Natural Look. It comes with six different eyeshadows an eye primer, a little blending brush, and then an eyeliner in black. I would open and show this to you, but I'm going to be putting this in with my e.l.f. giveaway. So if you're not subscribed to me, definitely subscribe now because I will be doing actually quite a few different giveaways coming up. And this I definitely wanted to include. It has such nice neutral colors that I think everyone will enjoy. So that was everything that I got from e.l.f. I can't wait to try everything out. If there's something in particular that you would like me to review or let you know how I liked it, definitely let me know down below. And if there's anything else that I should be picking up and trying from e.l.f., I'd love to know that too. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video.